Alrighty, what's up, Guardians? We're back this week in Destiny on a Saturday. I was trying to get this out on Friday, but regardless, we're here to see where Zer is this week. He is located in the tower in the hangar. So let's go there now. Alright, so first we're gonna be on our warlock, checking out everything in the armor and stuff. So first we got Lord of Wolves, not too bad. We get Quinson Vest, nice resilience roll, and then discipline, nice little bit of intellect there, not too bad. 62 overall style roll. Then we have Worm God's Crest, which are very good right now. Uh, 68 style roll, nice resilience. All right, strength. I don't know about that one. Then we got fell winners with mobility and some intellect. I mean, 66 stat roll overall, but more of a PvP kind of roll rather than PvE. But it's exotic. It's mainly meant for PvE. Then we have no reprieve, triple tap focus fury, decent roll, accurize extended. That's not too bad. Not bad combo right there, actually. I don't know how much we hit precision with shotgun, but then we have our Kalos SMG. This is a very good SMG. Gunshot straight and perpetual, expended, and then barrel options are not really that great. Handling masterwork, it's alright. We don't have one, I pick it up. Spare rations, this is definitely I'd pick this up. A small bore and then ricochet or flare with snapshot warple was definitely a decent PvP roll. And tarnished metal, we have moving target, multi kill clip, attack mag, airhead break, a small war of flare. It's not bad, not the greatest. Kellos, shotgun, we got ended, gray robber, and swashbuckler with small bore handling mask work. It's not that bad of a combo, I think them kind of go hand in hand, depending on the weapon we got. Interference, this roll is not very good, so we're gonna skip. Just in case, we have Wellspring and Thresh. Um, this is not that bad, but it's definitely not the greatest. And then, for the main thing we're all here for, this wiki is selling Black Armory armor, which is the OG armor from back in the day of, I like to call Vanilla D D2. Um, very nice armor set. Of all new players that are watching this, I definitely grabbed this. This is who knows when this will come back. So this is kind of a look at the armor. Um, yeah, it's not too bad looking. And then 65 star roll on the boots. It's not bad, but not great. 64 overall on the helmet. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad stats. This one is more like, I'd say, more of a PvP role. Mobi more mobility would be nice, but... And then the gauntlets. I would definitely pass on these. For Hawkmoon, we have Snapshot Sights, Alloy Mag, an extended barrel, it's not the greatest PvP roll, but if you don't have Hawkmoon, I'd definitely pick it up. Alright, so now we're on the Titan. Let's take a look at the armor. So we got the boots, 60 overall stat roll. Um, not the greatest. Um, I'd definitely pass on those, but pick that up if you didn't have the skin for it. Highly encourage you to pick that up. 68 stat roll on helmet. That's not that bad of a roll. I mean, the stat distribution is definitely not great, but the 68 is kind of great. Then we have the mark, which has no stats. And then the chest piece, stats for that are not the greatest. And then the gauntlets, I pass on those too. Alright, and then lastly, we have the hunter. So we're going to take a look at this armor right quick. So we got the boots to start off again, 62 over stat roll, not bad stat distribution. And then we have the helmet, which is not too bad, 64 over stat roll. That's a nice uh, PvP roll, I mean if you don't have one. That's a good starter, not bad stat distribution. Then we have the cloak, 
And then we have the chest piece, which is not the greatest stat rolls overall by any means. 63 over star roll, so I mean, there's that. And then we have the gauntlets, also not a good stat roll overall, but I definitely highly encourage picking up all these armor pieces. If you've not had gotten them already, they are definitely rare to come by, so I definitely pick them up. And then because I'm nice, you know, I'll come over here, and of course, Bungie's servers are just amazing right now uh the flawless weapon for the week is the eye soul so if you want to try and go flawless to get an adept version of this or grind out a bunch of trials for the engrams so you can focus out one of these you know that's that other than that that's pretty much Zer for the week thank you all for watching thank you for all the incredible support for the past few months it's been truly amazing. I hope to continue making videos and y'all continue to support me. Uh, with all that being said, I'll catch you in the next one, Guardians.